What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we are going to be looking at how to calculate the volume of a rectangular prism. So let's go. Okay, what are we going to remember today? Well, we're going to remember this formula that volume equals capital B and H. And this capital B represents the base. And the base of this rectangular prism would be this surface area just here. And then we would times that by the height. Or in other words, the volume equals length times width times height. So let's see what that means. And let's have a look at this method first, length times width times height. But first of all, what is volume? Well, volume is how much space a shape takes in space. So if we think about it like this, this prism that I've got here in red is taking an amount of space in my classroom. How much space is it taking? Well, we need to work out exactly how much this volume, this 3D space is actually taking from my classroom. Or another way of thinking about it, if I had a big jug of water and I put my little prism inside it, how much water was displaced, how much water would come out of my beaker to be replaced with this prism. So volume is a measurement of how much space something takes within our space around us. So if we think about the length, we would have a length of 10 centimeters. That's the long length at the front here. And obviously this measurement just here would be the same as this one just there, and that one there, and that one there that we can't quite see. Then we have the width. The width is how deep it is, and we can see we have this four centimeters just here, which would be the same as four centimeters here, four centimeters here, and four centimeters just there. And then we have the height, which we can clearly see is five centimeters, and that's represented with this line there, this line here, this line in the background, and this line on the left. So to get the volume, all I would need to do is length times width times height, or in other words, 10 times four times five, 10 times four is 40, 40 times five is 200. But 200 what? Well, we know the unit we're working in is centimeters, so we know it's centimeters. But what we might have looked at before is area. An area is the area of a surface on a 2D shape. So if I look at this square here, when I'm working out area, it might mean that I have two centimeters and three centimeters, which basically means I've cut this into two and three, which therefore means I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and I would call this six centimeters squared because I've cut them into squares. But when I'm working with volume, I'm not cutting them into squares. What I'm actually doing is cutting them into cubes because now I'm working in the 3D space. So just to quickly visualize that, it would look a little bit like this. So we can see that this is five centimeters across the length, the height is four centimeters, and the width is three centimeters. Therefore, my volume is five times four times three, which would be five times four is 20, times three is 60 centimeters. But centimeters what? Well, what it's saying is if I was to individually count out these cubes, so this would be one on the corner here, then two below it, three, now you can see I'm shading both sides because if you think about what that cube looks like, it's going to have both those sides there. Then five, six, seven, eight, and I carried on, 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 on. I would eventually have 60 of those centimeter boxes or cubes, which is why we say centimeter cubes. This is the way of showing it. CM3 means centimeter cubed. So back to my original question. What do I have? I have 200 centimeter cubes. But now let's look at what this volume equals BH part meant. So if we have a formula BH, this B means the base, and that's why it's in capitals. So what does the base of this shape look like? Well, the base is the space that it's sitting on, and right here we can see we have this rectangle just here. And our rectangle measures 10 centimeters, and then this measurement here would be the same as this four over here, so four centimeters. So my base is 10 and four centimeters. So to work out the area of the base, I would do 10 times four, which is 40, 
and then multiply that by my height so it'd be 40 h or in other words 40 times 5 which is 200 and again centimeters cubed so just a different way of doing it but it's basically the same thing isn't it because we are first multiplying 10 by 4 to get the base and then we multiply it by 5 to get the height or in other words length times width times height same thing and we can use this same logic to try and work out a tricky little question like this now I have a compound 3d shape so I could work out the volume of this compound 3d shape by splitting it into two shapes and I've been a bit generous here by putting this line and you can see that this is where we're going to break our shape a and our shape B so let's focus on a first of all and work out which measurements I need. Well, for A, I need the height, which is here. I need the width, which is just here. But I need the length, this length across the front just here. And at no point am I shown that. I'm shown that the whole length between the base of my compound shape is 6. And I'm shown that this length of shape B is 3. So if all of this is 6 and this part is 3, then I know that the other half must be 6, subtract that 3, which would also mean this is 3. So shape A volume equals 3 times 8 times 3, and 3 times 8 times 3 is 72. 72 what? That's right, centimeters cubed. And then shape of B volume equals, now let's work this out carefully because I have three centimeters for the length. I have two centimeters for the height. But where's the width? Well, that's right. It must be the same width as this three over here because we have the same width all the way around. So I would have two times three times three, which gives me a total of 18 centimeters cubed. Am I finished? No, because I've just done the individual parts. Now I need to get my two totals, 72 and 18 add them together and that gives me a total of 90 centimeters cubed. Simple, but now it's your turn. Have a go at working out the volume of this shape here. Use either of the two formulas to help you. Put your answer in the comments section. Good luck. And there you have it guys. That is everything you need to know about finding out the volume of a rectangular prism. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, think about heading over to themathshelter.com where you're gonna find loads more videos for everything you need to know about your age group maths. But for now, guys, I'm going to see you in another video. Peace out.